Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. I post new K-pop reaction videos here almost every single day. So if you like this video and you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Check out some other stuff on the channel. Today I'm extremely excited because I get to do one of my favorite things um, and that is cover a group debut. Um, this is for a group, a girl group, uh, named Fanatics, uh, from F-E-N-T, um, and, uh, if you don't know and you're new to my channel, the first time I react to any artist, I like to do a K-profile reaction, so if you want to see that reaction, I go through the K-profile, all the members' names, look at the social media and all that stuff, um, so if you want to see that reaction, that will be linked at the very top of the description below. That video will go live at the very same time as this video. And, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, the only thing I know about Fanatics is what's on this K profile. Um, early bias contenders for me, just from the photos. Uh, Sika, absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Um, and then, um, also Ch Chia? Chiyi? Chiai? I'm so sorry, I butcher names horribly. Um, so those are the two members that I was... I'm going to be looking out for. I'm terrible with names. I'm probably going to mix mix them up. Um, but yeah, like I said, I know that they had a sub-unit debut already. I have not heard that. Um, so I have no idea what to expect from their sound. And let me just... I can't remember, did they have a YouTube channel? Here, but let me just... Let me just make sure. See if... See if uh, FENT putting up on their channel. Give them the view if they did. Okay, it's not up on FENT yet. I just I like to use the uh, either the artist or the the um, company page if possible. But hey, one the K has it. I don't see it on their page. So here we go. Fanatics Sunday. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what this sound like. I have no idea. So. Whoa. Like a really spacious. It's a simple track so far, but good. Ooh. Ooh, the bass. That kicked in really nicely. This is this is really good. I have no, like I said, no idea what to expect musically. Ooh, that's that's really good. I really, really like how that. Well, I don't know what she's saying there, but that like that vocal part um, with the synth that they put behind it for that part. I'm gonna replay this bit. This is cool. Interesting. Very um Western house type feel to it. These vocals are very high quality though. Ooh. This so this is Chi Chi. That's cool. Have they had these tags the whole time? I'm gonna have to go back and look. This, so that's, I'm assuming this is Chi 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 Yi? I'm so sorry, I'm sure that's not how you say it. Whoever that is with the blonde hair right here, uh, when she first came in, I think her voice is my favorite so far. Let me see if I can figure out who that is. Okay, sorry, I just, I want to look at the profile really quick and see if I can figure out who this is. Uh, that could be Chaelin. Chaelin's a rapper. Not that she can't be singing if she's the rapper. It's more likely that's Yoonhai, though. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Yoonhai. Okay, cool. Her voice is my favorite so far. Sorry, guys. I really like this balance. 
of the production of the track, um, they're letting each of the each of their voices have a very distinct tone to it. Oftentimes, for new girl groups especially, they kind of overproduce, I feel like, the vocals, and that's not the case at all here. Doi. So that's Sika. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> that's cool that... That's a really good way to introduce your members in a video, actually. To have, like, name tag necklaces that they find throughout the video. And then it's like them coming together. Oh, that's adorable, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. And then they're like... They were, they were all like... Ooh, that wink, though. Oh, I like her voice, too. The winks of my lollipops. I get it. So that's... I think that's Sika, right? Singing that main... <laughs> New day. Oh, they're having so much fun in this video, too. Really clean production. This is good. This reminds me of, like, almost like a clean bandit type production. Oh, that's cool. Nice arm spinning. Okay, showing off with the choreo a little bit. I like it. Okay, so let me see if I can try and name all of them. Wait, is there going to be a group? Well, this is kind of an awkward angle to try and name them. Uh, maybe I can do it from here, though. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can get a shot. Here, we'll let this play out because they have a logo at the end. I want to see the logo, too. Fan Fanatics Sunday. Um. Okay, so before I do anything, actually, I do want to go through their names. Before I say anything else, this crushed my expectations um like i said a few things that really stick out to me one the production level of the track um and also how they use each member is really really good it's a really really good sign um like this is this feels like a very strong debut to me i'd be curious to see how how um how well this does as far as debuts go but I'm super impressed with each individual member, but also just the production of the track in that it didn't have, um, like, low-quality instrumental samples that you hear sometimes, especially if it's from a company that isn't, like, a massive name, right? Um, so that's a really good sign that the instrumental is cool. Um, it's awesome that, like I said, each vocal I, I felt like got to shine really well. Um, my only criticism in terms of the, uh, the members not shining was there wasn't any actual rap showcased it's because even though there are multiple rappers, which is fine, you don't have to have rap in a girl group. Um, and certainly not in every song and certainly not in a debut. Um, but I, that's just the only thing I was looking for that I didn't see. This track had just about everything else, but a good rap verse. Um, and it's not that I don't know if, I mean, who knows, right? But this is really good. I love the colors. Um, I love the different shots. I love the concept of them finding these uh, tags kind of around. Um, it looks like she already has her. Let me just see. So she's clutching the necklace. So it's like she's finding all of them. Um, like I said, so th these this concept of them finding their name tags and then, like, connecting the different colored dots on the globe of them, like, being brought together. And then that happy, connected moment at the end on the, um... What's it called? I almost said Ferris wheel. That's not what that's called. Um... What, what is this thing called? I feel, I feel so dumb. The playground equipment. Spinny thing. I completely am brain farting the name of it. 
But anyway, were they all this? Were they all gathered together finally? Like right? Is it right here? Um, where they all meet up. It's really cool because you get to see them each finding their name tag, and then you see their little dots on the globe. It's a really clever setup to get you to pay attention to their name in the video. Um, and then also, it's a clever setup to let each of them shine in the video and in the song. Um, and you can probably tell from my face, like, I'm just smiling. This is just a good time. Um, it wasn't too cutesy. Like I said, the production, really high quality. Um, a little bit, yeah, I can tell they're going for probably a bit more of the Western market. I'd be curious to see how this um, lands in Korea. But it seems to me just it's very Western produced in that style, which is fine. I mean, I, I enjoyed the track. Um, curious to see if they stick with this or if they branch out to something more specific. But in terms of quality, I was not left wanting. Um, and I really, really like the way this is set up, the video, the sound of the song. Um, like I said, uh, my early bias contenders, I don't think have moved around too much. Actually, they have. Never mind. Um, I just said something that wasn't true. I think Yunhai might be my bias. Um, because her voice was my favorite by far. But then I think Sika was probably next. Um, and I still think after this, she is devastatingly gorgeous. Even more so than I could see from that one photo. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, overall, this is incredible. Um... How's it doing view-wise? I just always want to see. Ah, not terrible. Um, yeah, I hope this I hope this takes off for them. Um, because I really enjoyed this. So, yeah. That's that's just my thoughts. I just I enjoy the setup. I like the video. I think it's super high quality. Uh, I love the audio. I'm probably rambling and repeating myself. Um, but I really, really like their voices, especially Yunhai and Sika. Um like I said, the bit of choreo that we saw here is pretty cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, just seems like an overall fun time. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this group does in the future. As always, guys, um, I want to know your thoughts on this video, on this song, on this group. Do you know anything about Fanatics? Did you see their subunit debut? I forgot the name of it. What was it called? Hold on. Uh... Flavor, subunit Flavor debuted in November. Um, did you see that? How does this compare to that? I'd be curious to know. Um, also, who's your bias in Fanatics? Early bias contenders. I always want to see. I'm going to start asking for people's biases when I first react to a group because I'm curious. But uh, yeah, other than that, like I said, um, please check out my reaction to the K profile if you want to get to know more about them or see me get to know more about them. Um, and, uh, I will probably, we'll see. I might do an album reaction to this album if I have time, but I can't promise that. But I definitely will pay attention to them going forward. Um, really good debut. Uh, kind of blew my expectations out in the water. So, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember to stay newbie.